Snackers, Brandon from the SAS Snack Food Appreciation Society here with you on the first Sunday of the NFL season. And like Gilbert O'Sullivan, I'm alone again naturally. Well, Alex turned 30 today, uh, Saturday, you're seeing this on Sunday, and uh, so he couldn't make it. And the heel Will Mahoney, he steadfastly refused to review what is part two of our fall preview for 2014, the Oreo Caramel Apple Flavored Cookies. That's right, they've done it again. With all the different flavors that they've had in the past several months to two years or so, they've come up with one more flavor to throw at you, and that is Caramel Apple. Uh, Will was pretty incensed last time when we reviewed the Limeade Oreos. While not bad cookies, a kind of dumb idea, but Caramel Apple is a little bit better, especially around this time of year uh, when you start to see caramel apples pop up at the store and when people make them for their Halloween parties and things like that. Not to be confused by the uh, or with the red candy apple, like the candy apple M&Ms that we uh, reviewed last week. Anyway, uh, limited edition caramel apple flavor cream sandwich cookies. Doesn't say anything else special about these on here. If you look at this thing, you see that it's got the green and the brown to symbolize the green apple and the caramel apple, or the caramel on the caramel apple. Now, <clears throat> for the brown, I wonder why almost all caramel apples are always green and almost all candy apples are almost red. That's strange. Never thought about that. Maybe it's something to do with the flavor profile of uh, green apples being a little more sour and it works off with the caramel a little bit better. I don't know. I'm just trying to distract myself from the fact that I don't usually open these things very well, but I got it right this time. All right, we've got three rows of cookies. They all seem to be pretty well full, unlike a couple of times in the past. And as you can see, they are split up into the two colors. You've got uh, green, and you got brown pretty much right down the middle as it seems from the sides. It smells very intensely like caramel and like apples. So they're definitely hitting off on the aromatic side right away. Wow, that is strong. I have just put it down and it's kind of closed the lid, but it's still wafting up at me, man. Lots of apple goodness, lots of caramel sweetness. Very, very good and smelly. One thing I forgot to do is get milk. You know, and I should do that with all the Oreo reviews, but I didn't this time. So they're on the gold, golden Oreo uh, cookie, because uh, I think that might taste kind of funky if they did it on the chocolate. Opening it up, you will see that that's kind of interesting. It's got more green than it's got uh, brown, but let's see if we can catch that here. Doesn't that look like a face? It's got the brown on the top there. And it's got the green, I mean, it's got the smile inside the green. Is that the Incredible Hulk? Is that Oscar the Grouch? Who is that? He doesn't have eyes, whoever he is, so that's kind of weird. All right. Fuse this bad boy back together. Let's see what we got. I'm biting right down the middle, by the way. Wow. Mmm. Dude, that tastes straight up like apple. Mmm. I mean, yeah, it has caramel too. It tastes like a caramel apple, but what I mean is, it doesn't really taste like a uh, apple Jolly Rancher or some crap like that. It tastes like I just took a bite out of a crisp, juicy apple covered in caramel. Now, the Apple does dominate the caramel a little bit, and you get the apple almost right away when you bite it down the middle like that. Rather than sort of getting the caramel first and then the apple, uh, it almost is in reverse in that aspect. So that's a little odd. But other than that, it pretty much replicates the flavor of a caramel apple right off the bat, even with the cookie on there. The cookie almost just becomes supporting cast at this point. And man, uh, this is a tasty cookie. I like it a lot. I can't hate on this. I'm giving it seven-eighths of a thumbs up. Fan-freaking-tastic. Uh, 
man, I might have to run out and get me some more of these before they go away because I want to eat more of these cookies without a doubt. Now let me go ahead and just taste some of the green here by itself. Mm. Yeah, man, that's happily, dude. And some of the brown by itself. That didn't sound right. I still taste the apple in the brown, but I don't taste the brown in the apple, so to speak, or the caramel in the apple. Anyway, uh, you'll have to forgive me. I'm a bit tired. But, yeah, seven, eight thumbs up on these bad boys. Definitely recommend them. Definitely, as my boy Eric says, endorse them. All of the above. Hope your team wins today on the first Sunday of the NFL. Hope my team wins too. And I'll tell you one thing, I ain't calling crackers crackers no more if you get what I'm saying. Anyway, in the meantime, in between time, what you got to do is follow up me on Twitter at Brandon Reich SAS, hashtag Snack Society. Also, join the SAS on Facebook by clicking on the link down below. 285 or so of the coolest people in the world inhabit the Facebook group. For the Snack Food Appreciation Society, and so should you. And you should also subscribe if you haven't already. You should like the videos, you should share the videos, you should favorite the videos, and make me a superstar. No, not really. I don't really care. Anyway, but yeah, watch them anyway. In the meantime, in between time, I'm eating some cookies, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.